All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with images where the subject was too close to the camera and they take all the flash, all the light from the flash, but then the rest of the room looks too dark and the photos look fake. How can people be so bright if they're in a dark room? Okay, so if you go to file and open, also in the same folder as number three. And when I took this photo, he was right in front of the camera. He got all the flash, but the room, the surrounding environment looks really dark. It looks like there's an artificial light on this figure. So just to see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Hit Command J. And the simple touch up for a photo like this is image menu, adjustments, shadows, highlights. That's like turning on a light bulb in the room. Okay, right there, that is way too bright. So I'm gonna adjust my radius. You just drag it left and right and let go, left and let go, right and let go. I want his hair looking a little darker, so I'll drag it over to the right. Okay, you can adjust your shadows here, your tone, just to get a decent balance. What you don't want to really mess with is highlights. Anything greater for the amount, anything greater than zero, means get rid of your highlights. And now it looks like a really bad skin rash, so I want to leave that. If it's too bright, might slide it over just a little bit to tone that out, but I wouldn't go too far. Okay, down below, since the image was kind of dark, I can accentuate the color. You can see he's turning kind of orange around the edges or tone down the color. I think it was at around 20 or so, so I'm gonna keep it there, 20 to 25. Uh, Mid-tone, drag to the right, you got a lot of contrast. Drag to the left, you lose contrast, so I might wanna keep that right where it was. Maybe not even mess with the mid-tone. Just type in zero, there we go. And here's the preview, there's before and there's after kind of balanced out the tones, see a little more detail up in the hair. And that looks like a much better balanced quality image. Now the other thing I want to caution you about is if you are ever photo retouching a portrait, do not rely on making your judgment judgments here from a distance. I would always, always recommend zooming in at the end. So you'll notice here next to his eye, he's got a couple of scratches. We don't want scratches on this kid's face. Those are small little spots of damage. So I'm going to go to the fourth tool down on the right, my spot healing brush. And just click and drag over these little spots of damage. Notice I'm doing one little section at a time. Then I'll take this big chunk of damage right there. Wipe over a couple of these little blemishes here, a little spot right there, a little pimple right there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Get out that mark. And if you notice, the reason why I zoomed in is he has food in his teeth. I don't want people seeing that. It's my kid. Okay, I don't want anybody but all of you guys to see this. So when you look at this damage, that little food particle is right on the edge of the gum line. It's on a physical object edge. So the only thing that's going to retouch and clean up physical objects is my clone stamp. So I'm going to hold Control and Option, make this a really small brush. Option click right here. Then I move over and paint out the damage right there. And we can clean up that little food particle there in his teeth. Zoom back out. And now we've got a nice, clean image suitable for presentation. Again, to balance out your light source, here's before, there's after. It's image menu, adjustments, shadows, and highlights. Great feature to uh, compensate for bad lighting conditions in your photos.